this program uh, this a member of Padre, who I don't see here. But in our absence, I'd like to acknowledge the member of Parliament of the Sukura St. Andrew and the wife of the Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Julia Fulness, uh, Councillor for the Harbourview Division, Ms. Oliver Clou, President of the Harbourview Citizens Association, Ms. Sandra Hall, Sports Council Representative, Mr. Paul Hall, <coughs> Industrial and Building Solutions Manager, Mr. Andre Nelson, and Managing Director of Caribbean Cement Company Limited, Mr. Yago Castro, our distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Um, let me now invite Mr. Andre Nelson to uh, give us the safe talk. Now, as with all our functions and operations at Caribbean Cement, health and safety are important to us. So it's only fitting that we continue with this practice. Mr. Nelson. Good afternoon. Chad, are you sure you want me to put in the mic? <laughs> I've been straight from the, the topic here. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Of course, safety is our number one priority in the company. We sell cement. So the next priority is customer centric. But today I talk about um, safety. Now, what should we consider safety today? If there's a hurricane, there's no hurricane coming. But what we need right now, if there's a bathroom chart that anyone wants to use, where do they go? Not in the corner, please. I'm Bush. sure the community is very friendly and they will allow any one of us if we have that in right? But apart from that, there's no real need of a safety today. Just look out for your own safety and if there's something going wrong with someone else, of course, you might. All right, thank you everybody for being here. Um, over to you again, Jack. Thank you, Andre. All right, so um, it's important that we maintain this development. All right, I would now like to invite Mr. Paul Martin of the Sports Council to give his remarks. Good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to the Rocky Park Sports Complex. Uh, it's in the uh, great pleasure to be with you guys. Sorry, I, like this. Uh, I can remember back in 2017 uh, when we started with the stuff to um, come stuff uh, to figure out exactly how would we go about um, enhancing, you know, upgrading the, the facilities because this facility has been home to some of uh, our most outstanding uh, student athletes. Uh, I can remember Shanika Thomas Rickett, she just finished second in the World Championship, the Triple Jump Women. Um, Kathy Smuckler, she goes in the 400 meters tomorrow, uh, final. And um, uh, second, uh, second in the world, uh, Andrew Knight, she's also a product of this company. And um, Danny K. Smith, she's also you know, a product here as well. And we have we're looking at. Um, we have a lot of basketball as well, but scholarships and so forth. So the facilities it has always been home to the development and harnessing of the talent in and around the community. And um, it's really a uh, honor to have this uh, facility here today because the fact is that they will continue to enhance the development of the youngsters. And I want to say thanks to Mr. Blue. and also to ensure that they maintain a healthy lifestyle because we do have persons in the community who come out uh, from time to time and use the facility for their own you know, 
health purposes. Right, so once again, I wanted to say thanks to um, Mr. Blue, the Civic Company, and I'm sure that the company will definitely take care of this basketball court. Mr. Well, Will is here too as well, and I speak on behalf of the basketballers as well. They really do appreciate what you guys have done, and once again, thanks for coming. And I will also ensure that we have the civic company um, have them dialed up in terms of any assistance that we need going forward because civic company has been here from 1983, right? I think you know about that. Yeah, yeah man. So it's not just today, right? I was trying to play back in my mind exactly with 1982, 83, about. Uh, so we'll always be calling on the civic company from time to time, along with Mr. Blue as well, to ensure that we continue to develop the youngsters in this community, all right? So, all the best. All right, thank you, Mr. Martin, for that. Um, so, any handover would not be complete without, um, you know, the people who it will benefit. And uh, you, the people of the community are an important fixture in that. So, I would like to now invite um, the president of the Hartview Citizens Association, Mrs. Sandra Hall, just to give her remarks on behalf of the community. Good afternoon, one and all. Um, it is a pleasure to be here this afternoon. I, we work so closely with our councillor, Oliver. He has been there with the association for as far back as I can remember. And he's always looking for ways to upgrade the community. And since I have taken over in March of last year, we're trying now to get on board with our sports council, the youth. We're trying to reach the youth, and they do such a wonderful job of reaching the youth in the community. You have to reach them from their young and train them and find things for them to do. We have been on board, or my company has been on board with this association. I, I can't even remember from when. But we, if you look on their record, you'll see how the Business Association, how the Business Association, and they're always saying yes. Events that we have, we have our annual flag raising um, ceremony coming up, August 6th, it's an event company. We have our seniors' Christmas dinner, it's an event company. They're always there to help. Jerome, Jerome is tired to hear from. <laughs> he has me, I have him on speed dial and he has me on speed dial. And we are so appreciative of it. Thank you so much. The community thanks you. And we look forward to continuous relationship with the Med Company, the Sports Council, Mr. Blue. We're all working together for a better community. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mrs. Hall, for those kind words. Right? Um, as you heard, Mr. Clue has been very instrumental. So at this point in time, I'd like to welcome Mr. Clue. Microphone. this 
great comfort. And I want to say to the family members here that we are not friends. We are all one family. And I'm calling and my great company, Mr. Manager, this is the beginning of what to come. This must be the number one center in this part of Jamaica. Presently, we have the gates that we will have to pay attention to. We have the light that we want to, and we want to improve, and the basketball court, and also the network. I want to also say to our family members here that we finally convinced KSAMC who will be a part of this great family and I have to say thanks in the absence of the mayor for all what they have been doing for us. But KSAMC now going to focus on the sanitary convenience over there and going to add to the change over there. <laughs> Mr. Manager and our special guest, some time ago, we had serious, what you call, a uh, conflict in this year. We have individuals from St. Benedict's who could not come to this section of the division. Could not go to Melbourne. And I want to say to you all, it is the facility that we have here, the play field and the network. What the police could not prevent play field and this complex that ensure that we say no to the violence and the killing through our sports program, the football and so on. Right? So this is that the evening for speech. But I want to say to you, Mr. Manager, that you have a great team, sir. We appreciate your team. And I'm going to ask us, not at the end of this evening for us to stay far apart, but we are hoping that at times we can have lunch together. I am hoping and praying that our present breakfast uh, program that we have in the hills, where in the morning we help some of our children and so on, right, that this great company will get involved. We are hoping that the basic school track and field competition that we are planning, that this great company will also get involved. But my ladies and gentlemen, it's indeed a great pleasure. When I look back, I can say KSAMC, and my mayor is not here this afternoon. But I'm very grateful to your worship, the mayor. He has been a tower of strength to us. And in so doing, we can stand with pride and say that your humble servant as sponsor has spent over $800,000 on this complex. And it is our intention, it is our intention to continue to ensure that this complex will really be the number one in this part. We want to see the national team and the basketball board. We want to see the netball team and the sport, and we are going to improve that. But in the name of Jesus, because anything we do, my friends, we must put Christ in front. And I'm confident that the Lord is going to help us to be successful in whatever we seek to do. God bless you all, and thank you very much. Respect to the manager. For that, for sharing your vision with us. Let me just pause to acknowledge the arrival of the MP, our member of parliament, and thanks to the Prime Minister, uh, Mr. Julius Bolis. All right. Um, I am told we have a special item prepared for us. So let me welcome now the 
she was from the movie Hector performing art center. Thank you. 